So we've already learned about asking questions. And one of the things I said that when we ask questions about a story or something else, it helps us make a prediction. So today we're gonna to talk about what in the world is a prediction. A prediction is a guess you make based on the text you are reading or the pictures that you see. So we can say a prediction is what will happen next. So let's think back to our Goldilocks and the Three Bears book. We see that Goldilocks came into the house. Based on the pictures that you see right here, what do you think is gonna happen next? Where is she gonna go? Yeah, she's gonna go into the living room and bounce on the chairs because we see that she has chairs. And when she bounces on the chairs, what do you predict will happen next? She's going to, what's gonna happen to the last chair? She's gonna break it. She's gonna break the chair. And we predicted that when she went into the house, she was gonna jump on the chairs. And when she jumped on the chairs, she broke the chair. Something that you can say when you are making a prediction is I think and because. So when we look at this, pic, the cover of this story, which I know with the glare is kind of hard to see, but looking at the cover of my book about Goldilocks and the Three Bears, I think this story is about three bears because there are three bears on the cover of my book. Do you think that this story would be about elephants? No, because the title of my book is Goldilocks and the Three Bears and there are pictures of three bears on the cover of my book. So I think that this story is gonna be about bears because there are bears on the cover. My evidence, we always need to have evidence. I drew a magnifying glass because we've gotta look for clues in our story to help us make predictions. So I predict that this story is going to be about three bears because the evidence shows that there are three bears on the cover of my story. We can make a prediction about anything. We've been learning patterns and a pattern follows a rule. So we can make a prediction that if it goes, uh, let's see, I'm gonna draw one right here. If my pattern went orange, blue, orange, what would come next? I predict that it would be blue because that is the rule of my pattern. Orange, blue, orange, blue. See how I use the evidence, the information I already had to make, to use it as clues to see what came next. So today, after you listen to me read the story and you tell me the characters, the setting, and the, um, events that happen in the story, make a prediction about what could have happened next in the story.